And if you start filming like this, you can record your videos once and then easily repurpose them in multiple aspect ratios for all of your social media platforms. When I made my first video on aspect ratios about five years ago, I mentioned that there could definitely be a future in it. However, shooting in vertical video is just wrong. Well, joke's on me because with Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts now, they are all in a vertical aspect ratio and they're also a great way to repurpose your long form videos into shorter vertical videos to help you reach a wider audience across multiple platforms. So I'm gonna show you some steps to help you to frame and record your video once to help you repurpose that single video into multiple aspect ratio videos. The first step is to record in 4K with the plan of editing in a full HD or 1080p timeline. And now I know what you're thinking, but wait, I have a 4K camera. I want to shoot videos in 4K and export and upload my videos in 4K. Let me tell you, you don't need 4K output. I know you want it. You think it's going to make your videos better, but people don't care. 1080p is plenty. Even 720p is good enough, especially with the phones people are watching on. So don't worry, but we are going to shoot in 4K to give you more flexibility in the edit with cropping and some other things I'll bring up later. So let me know down in the comments what type of camera you're shooting with, because even if you don't have 4K, don't worry. 1080p will still work just fine. And next up is to set up the rule of thirds on your camera. Now, pretty much every camera should have this, even cell phones have the ability to do this so just go into your menu settings find where it says grids or safety margins something like that and look for the rule of thirds grid you're going to put that as your overlay and that will help you with framing properly which is our next step now normally i would be framing myself like the way you see right here but when framing now we have to keep in mind these multiple aspect ratios so that we have as much in view as we can with all those vertical aspect ratios in mind and so how i actually am being recorded is like this and with that rule of thirds grid in mind, you want to keep yourself or whatever is important for your shot framed within those two vertical lines. Now that's a little bit further than your typical vertical aspect ratio, but that's going to help you as a guide with what to get in there. And the more you do it, you'll get a feel for how you need to do it. And especially keep in mind, you might want to have a little bit of headroom or maybe some below you, depending on if you're going to be adding text or any other things you may want to add later on in your shorter form videos. And this might start to make you look pretty small when you're looking in your viewfinder, especially if maybe you're doing full body shots, you're going to be far away, but don't worry. It's all going to work out in editing. Although something to keep in mind is your sound. So as you get further away from the camera, the sound is going to disperse more and not sound as good in your microphone. So maybe think about using a lapel mic or bringing a mic that's closer or using a wider angle lens will help so you can get more in your field of view without having to get really far away from the camera. Also keep all these same things in mind when you're framing for B-roll that you'll be adding later on to your video. Like when I do this for my fitness channel, I do a normal horizontal video, but I'm sure to completely frame my lift within those vertical lines so that I have the B-roll that I need for my normal video, but then I also have have everything in view for those IG reels that I use for my lifting progress later on. So finish recording your video and any B-roll you're doing and then move all of that footage into a 4K timeline. Wait, I know I said earlier a full HD timeline, but don't worry, we're gonna get to that later. We're starting out with the normal 4K 16 by nine timeline. And I use Final Cut Pro X, but whatever desktop editing program you have should have similar controls. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments as well as let me know what you are editing with. So go ahead and do all your typical video editing like cutting, sound effects, video effects, B-roll, all those typical things except for any type of cropping you wanna to do to your video. Leave that wider view that you recorded with and we're gonna to get to that later. Now that you have your final edit, export that video in 4K and then you'll have your base video that you'll be ready to easily transform into multiple aspect ratios. Now you're gonna make a second project that is a full HD or 1080p timeline. You can bring that 4K export into this 1080p timeline and now begin to crop and resize all your footage for the way you would want it to look for your typical long form 60 by nine YouTube video. Once you get everything looking how you want, you export that and now you're ready to upload your full HD video to YouTube. And that's why we recorded in 4K because of all that cropping, zooming in, you have four times the resolution in 4K that you do is 1080p. And so now you don't really have any loss in quality with all the zooming in, cropping, any kind of effects you're doing for that. So now we're gonna go back in and make a new full HD timeline, but this time we're gonna do it in a nine by 16 fashion. My program lets me choose a vertical video format already, but if you don't, I'll have listed in the description what dimensions you'll need in order to get that typical nine by 16 vertical aspect ratio in full HD. But the rest of the process is pretty much the same. You're gonna conform 
that 16 by nine video to your nine by 16 video. It's a lot of numbers. And then when you do that, it should automatically size it and you can just move stuff around as you want so that you can take your long five to 10 minute video and now have five to 10 one minute videos that you can post to all your other social media platforms in that vertical aspect ratio format. And you can also do the same thing for a square aspect ratio if that's something you wanna do. Maybe you prefer using square for Instagram reels as opposed to a vertical for YouTube shorts or TikTok. And then you have three different aspect ratios that are customized to each of your various platforms where you wanna upload. And so the process is the same. Again, I have a preset for a square aspect ratio, essentially full HD, you're looking at 1080p by 1080p. Simple as that. You bring in that 4K original one we used, conform it to that so that you resize just like we did before, export it, and now you're ready to go with your square aspect ratio video. It's a pretty simple process. The big thing to remember is the framing when you're first setting up. Don't just frame it thinking, okay, this is how I wanna be on my end video for my YouTube videos. No, you need the more space that you have leeway in cropping and setting up those various aspect ratios. Now, if your camera doesn't have 4K, you don't need to worry about that. You can still shoot in 1080p and you won't really have much loss in quality with cropping in a little bit for your longer form video. You just don't wanna do any crazy close-ups or anything like that because it will start to get kind of grainy a lot quicker. So when you do shoot 4K and then edit in the 1080p, that gives you a whole lot more leeway for what you can do with different zooming in and out effects in your final video. I know that's a lot of info, so you probably have some questions, so feel free to post in the comments and I'll try to help you all out the best I can there. I'm here to help you out to learn filmmaking. I've got lots of stuff on the channel with storytelling tips, with framing, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, camera settings, camera suggestions, lenses, lights, so much stuff to help you guys out. And just search the channel and you'll probably find what you need. And uh, again, hit that like video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see y'all in the next one.